We are going to learn how to design an amazing and modern graphic design poster in Photoshop. And now I'm using Photoshop 2020. So go to create new. Your width set to 1080 pixels. Your height 300 pixels. Resolution 300. RGB. Set the color mode to RGB and make sure your background content is white. Then you press create. So here we are going to bring our image. So go to file. Place embedded. Place embedded. Then you click. Here we are going to look for the location of your image. Mine is just here. So you click on the image. Then you place. All right. Click this check mark here. Now as you can see my image is not fitting. There is a little white space here. So I'm going to press Ctrl T on the keyboard. Then you hold Shift Alt and drag to fit. Now click the check mark when you are done. So now we are going to write our first text. So select the text tool and select the vertical type tool. Type your text. You can see. So yeah, let's double click on our text. Increase the size of your text to about 80 points. Click your check mark. Control T. Hold Shift and Alt and drag here to adjust. Your test. Okay, I think I'm okay with the outcome. I'm going to come to the image layer. Right, this. Let's click on this. Circle then go to brightness and contrast. Increase your contrast a bit. I think I'm all okay with 13. Okay. Select your brush tool because our layer max is white. We are going to change the foreground color to black. We want to remove. The brightness from where we don't need them okay so don't want them on the shirt okay so we are done we hold these two the brightness and the image layer the image layers okay now control j to duplicate the image layer press control and the right bracket key to send your image up then click on your grid also your grid text sorry click on your grid text Control J to duplicate, then Control right bracket to send up. Okay. So now, this second image layer, copy one. So left click, so left click on it and create clipping mask. Okay. So you can see it's not showing. So you come here. Layer max to the first image. Now go to Rectangular marker to and select the rectangular marker. Now drag. Mm -hmm. Drag here. So I'm going to to set this foreground and background to default. Then here you click the background and set it to black. Then press control backspace okay control backspace to make this place white so that means you are removing the black okay after that I press select you go to select deselect I can short key shortcut key control D to deselect and let's press select our topmost text layer 
and go to this FX here, left click and press blending options. So now I'm going to re reduce the fill opacity. This is to zero. Okay, I come to stroke. I'm going to add stroke of about four percent. Then I press OK. Okay. Then I press OK. So now I'm going to select my move to click on an empty place on the on your workspace to make sure you are not selecting anything in the layer style. So oh, yeah. to type to so left click and select the result tab. Now write your text here. Mm. Okay. Click this check mark and double tap here on the text. Double tap it. Go to Windows properties. Now this space you can see there's no space there too close, so I'm going to increase it a bit. Okay. And drag and increase. I'm also going to decrease the size to about 16. Mm -hmm. I still, I'm still not okay with the spacing. So I'm still going to... Now I feel like I'm okay with the spacing. So I'll click the check mark here. And close this place. I'm going to press... I'm going to reselect it again. Then I'll put my text pointer here, then enter and give space. I'm going to click this check mark, Ctrl T, left click, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and drag to your desired location. Okay. I just I feel this space here is too much, so I'm going to close it a bit. Double click on your text. So I still come to double click your text. So now my properties is here. So I would adjust it to go close. Then I check it. Okay. So I'm okay. I'm going to write my final my final text. Again, text two. And I write my final text. Well, this time I'm going to change the fonts. Aquafina script and I'll type click it and increase the size a bit. Control R to bring out your rulers. Control R to bring out your rulers in Photoshop. Okay. So I want to adjust it to fit. Okay. I'm going to drag it the rulers back. So now we are done. But I want to show you something. Let's say I want to change this white here to black. So go to your background layer. Go to your background. Let's set this to default. Okay. I set it to default. Now click on your foreground color and select black. Press OK. Alt backspace. As you can see. Okay. As you can see, this is what we have so far. Guys, thank you for watching. And if you found any value or if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a like. And not just give this video a like, but also subscribe. Click the notification icon so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you. It is what it is. Peace.